Welcome to Miss Smith's Math Tutorials. I'm Miss Smith. In this video, we're going to be talking about understanding and graphing quadratics in vertex form. So this video is just going to be purely based on understanding what is the vertex when you're given a vertex form. How do we find it? And then also just giving an example of how would we then graph it. In a future video, I'm going to talk about translating from vertex form to standard form. That'll be in a separate video. I'm also going to be uh, doing transformations of quadratics when in vertex form in a separate video. So you won't find those in this one. In this one, we're purely talking about finding the vertex. Let's talk about quadratics. So we're used to seeing quadratics in standard form like this, f of x or y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. That is standard form. That's how we're used to seeing something when we're ready to factor it, okay? Or use the quadratic formula or completing the square or whatever you may be using, okay? Um, vertex form is this same information just given in a different form. Um, and it's called vertex form because it's really easy to see the vertex when it's in this form, okay? Um, so vertex form is f of x or y equals a times x minus h squared plus k, okay? And all I really want you to be able to take out of this video is understanding what would the vertex be when given something in vertex form, okay? So let's look at some examples. Um, and I think the best way to learn is just to dive right in and actually experiment with it. So for this first example, y equals x minus 3 um, squared plus 4. Now what's important to understand, notice how this matches up very well. Now the a, you might be saying, well there's no a out there. Right, well that means a is an understood 1 right now, an understood positive 1. Okay, um, your h is your x, okay? And the k, that's your y. So when we go to figure out the vertex, you just want the h, the negative h value, and we'll talk about that in a second, and your k value as your y, okay? So x comma y, h comma k, same thing, okay? So in this case, let's look at what's in the place of h. Well, it's negative three. It is always gonna be the opposite of whatever sign you see when it's inside the parentheses. Okay, now that sounds really weird, I know, but notice how this is x minus 3. Okay, so when I write the vertex, it's going to not be a negative 3, it's going to be a positive 3. Okay, that is only for the h value, which is inside the parentheses. And the reason why we're flipping the sign is because there's a negative in the form of vertex form. So this is really x minus negative 3. And we know a negative times a negative is a positive. So I know that feels complicated, but if you can just wrap your mind around the fact that whatever you see in with the x in the parentheses, just take the opposite sign. So it's negative, make it positive. That's all you really need to, to I don't want you to stress about it. Okay, and then on the outside, it's whatever the sign is that you see. So in this case, I see positive 4. So my y value of my vertex is positive 4. Okay, and let me just quickly clarify because I feel like I kind of skirted over this. What do I mean by vertex? Well, remember um, quadratics are in this shape, right? They're either in an upside down U or they're in a right side up U. A vertex is going to be either the highest point if it's upside down or the lowest point 
if it's right side up. That's the vertex. So when we say find the vertex, that's what I really mean, right? So that's what's so great about vertex form is I can quickly look at a ver vertex form like we did here and say, well, the vertex is positive 3, 4, right? I could tell you exactly what that point would be on the graph. So that's what's so great about vertex. Um, let's look at this next example. So notice I do have an A value here. It's 2. That's not going to affect my vertex at all though. That would affect when I'm actually graphing how I would graph it. Um, we'll get into more what that two does when we talk about transformations of quadratics. Um, but for now, I just wanna know the vertex, right? So remember your X value is the one on the inside with the X, okay? So in this case, it's plus one. And remember we said it's the opposite sign. So we're gonna call it negative one. On the outside is in negative 2, so our y value is negative 2. Let's do one more. So in this one, I would want to look at the interior, right, inside the parentheses. This is a negative 5, so I know my vertex x value is positive 5. The outside is negative 3, and the one on the outside is the true sign of the y value negative 3. Okay, let's look at a different type of example. Now for this one, I want to be, I want to say not only what is the vertex, but then I actually want to graph this quadratic. So it's been given to me in quadratic um, vertex form, okay, not in standard form. We could absolutely put it in standard form, and I'll show you how to do that in a different video, but it's actually pretty easy to graph from here. The first thing I would want to say is, what is the vertex, right? And that's what we practiced on page one. So all I have to do is say, okay, what's on the inside of the parentheses with the x, in this case plus one, and let me take the opposite sign of that. So negative one. All right, now what's on the outside of the parentheses? Minus four, that's my y value. So minus four, that one's the true sign. So I can go ahead and plot my vertex right now. Negative one, negative four, right there. Now how do I build around that? Well, in this case, I'm gonna recommend that you go ahead and get your graphing calculator out to help you. Now I technically could just plug in values for X and then solve for Y. You can do that. It's very time consuming, right? So let's use our technology to help us save some time. I would want to go into my Y equals and I'm going to type this in exactly as they gave it to me. So right now it's Y equals and we're going to do parenthesis X plus one. Close the parenthesis out, square it, minus four. All right, now we want a second graph. We want to go to our table. And I first want to go to that vertex value, negative 1, negative 4. So let me find that one. It's right there, okay, right here. And I want to build two points above that and two points below that. Okay, so let me make a little XY table over here to help me. I want to put my vertex in the very middle, negative 1, negative 4. And I want to do two points above and two points below. That'll give me a good, nice shape to my parabola. So negative two, negative three. And we'll go one more. Negative three, zero. And then we'll go two points below. So zero, negative three. And one, zero. So let's go ahead and we'll plot these points and get a nice shape to this parabola. So my next point, so I did my vertex already. Let's do negative 2, negative 3 right there. And then we'll go negative 3, 0 right there. And then we'll do negative 1, ne oh, we did negative 1, negative 4. And then 0, negative 3 and one zero. So now it shows me that nice U-shaped parabola and I'm just doing my best to rough sketch. 
um, we get that nice U-shaped parabola. Um, so just quickly looking at this, so I can quickly tell you the vertex, and then it makes graphing real easy because I know I just want to build around that. Um, so I'm going to give you guys one to try now. I want you to tell me what is the vertex, okay? So I've given you a quadratic in vertex form. y equals or f of x equals x plus 4 squared minus 1. So you just in a single point, um, an xy point, tell me what is the vertex. I will post the answer in the video description below. This has been Miss Smith's Math Tutorials.